Installation Flowchart. Install the RTN 320F according to the installation flowchart. Assembling the antenna. Step 1. First, connect the azimuth adjustment rod and the elevation adjustment mechanical part to assemble the mounting bracket. Then, connect the azimuth adjustment mechanical part to the mounting bracket. Step 2. Connect the mounting bracket and reflector assembly. Use bolts to secure the mounting bracket on the reflector assembly to assemble the antenna. Step 3. Install the dual polarization direct mounting OMT. Remove the dustproof films from the waveguide ports on the OMT and antenna and evenly apply Vaseline on the surface of the waveguide port on the OMT. Align the waveguide port on the OMT with the waveguide port on the antenna and ensure that the mounting ears face upward. Then, use four hex socket bolt assemblies to secure the OMT to the antenna. Assembling the RTM 320F ODU and antenna. Step 1. Install the attachment plate to the ODU. Ensure that the hook slot on the ODU is aligned with the hook hole on the attachment plate and then install the hook screw in the hook slot on the ODU. Step 2. Install the ODU to the RTN 320F. First, remove the corresponding screws on the RTN 320F and align the mounting holes on the attachment plate with the holes on the RTN 320F. Then, use four screws to secure the attachment plate to the RTN 320F. Step 3. Install the assembly of the ODU and RTN 320F on the antenna. Remove the dustproof films from the antenna port on the ODU and the feed port on the OMT. Apply Vaseline on the bearing seal of the antenna port on the ODU. Slide the hook on the ODU into the hook slot on the OMT. Install the ODU on the OMT. Ensure that the ports on the ODU and RTN 320F face downward. Partially tighten the four captive screws on the ODU and then fully tighten them in opposite pairs. Installing the antenna on the pole. Tighten all bolts before lifting the antenna. Determine the installation direction and height of the antenna according to the network planning guide and then lift the antenna to the position as determined. Install the mounting bracket on the pole and tighten the bolts. Installing the DC power cable. Connect the DC power cable to the power port and secure the cable connection. Installing the PGND cable for the RTN 320F. Connect one end of the PGND cable to the ground screw on the RTN 320F and the other end to the ground clip. Installing the IF cable. Connect one end of the IF cable to the IF port on the ODU and the other end to the IF port on the RTN 320F. Then, secure the cable connection. Installing the outdoor optical fiber or Ethernet cable. Step 1. Pull out the rubber plug from the bottom of the sleeve and remove the blocks from the rubber plug according to the number of cables. Then, slide the cables onto the rubber plug. Route the outdoor optical fibers through the bottom of the sleeve and insert them into the corresponding ports. Step 2. Tighten the waterproof sleeve. First, insert the sleeve into the corresponding port and fasten the buckle. Then, rotate the expansion cap clockwise and tighten it. Laying out the cables. Step 1. After tightening the cable connector, wrap the port with one layer of PVC insulation tape, three layers of waterproof tape, 
and then another three layers of PVC insulation tape and bind a cable tie at both ends of the tape. Step 2. Route the cable ties through the holes on the label and bind the label to the cable. Tighten the cable ties and cut off the excess. Adjusting the antenna. Step 1. Adjust the azimuth. Course adjustment. Hold the antenna, loosen the two nuts on the clamp, and rotate the antenna to make it approximately face the correct direction. Use a compass to determine the direction if necessary, then tighten the nuts. Find adjustment. Loosen the bolt 3 and nuts 4, and then slowly adjust the nuts 1 and 2 on the azimuth adjustment rod. You can adjust the azimuth of the antenna by minus 15 degrees to plus 15 degrees. After the adjustment, tighten the nuts 4, 1, 2, and the bolt 3. Step 2. Adjust the elevation. Loosen the bolts 1, 2, and 3, and then slowly rotate the bolt 4 clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the elevation of the antenna. You can adjust the elevation of the antenna by minus 15 degrees to plus 15 degrees. After the adjustment, tighten the bolts 1, 2, and 3. Checking and tightening. After the antenna is installed and its azimuth and elevation are adjusted, tighten all the screws to recommended torques. Remove the rubber plug from the water leakage hole at the bottom of the antenna.